So replacing your windscreen, is it actually worth going through the insurance or can you find a cheaper quote elsewhere? Stick around to find out, the answer may shock you people. So anyone who saw my last video knows that there was a bit of an issue with the windscreen on the bongo and it had to be replaced. A huge stone hit the windscreen. Now I've had a crack in this windscreen for a while but it didn't really need replacing because it wasn't in the view of vision. And I don't think this one is but it's going to be bad because this one's really bad. <laughs> Check this out. So the insurance company would not cover the windscreen, which was a big concern. They put me through to Autoglass, whose quote was £1,100, which was a bit out of my budget, I must say. <laughs> so I thought, like everything else with the bongo, the windscreen will be very hard to get hold of, because any of you that own bongos will know that getting parts is not always easy. But uh, yeah, I'm guessing they must be a fairly universal size. All bongos have the same windscreen, so if you're buying one second hand, you don't have to worry about is it a 2 litre, is it a 2.5 diesel, it will all have the same windscreen. So I looked online, I looked on eBay, people are selling them on eBay for about 250 quid, and I found on bongo spares you can buy them. I think they're like 195 something like that and they will fit them for 250 pound which i thought was great so some insurance companies will only pay the first 500 pound and then you will have to pay the rest now if that was the case and i went with the auto glass quote i would still have had to pay 600 pound which is still a lot of money but i looked around and i managed to find a quote that was 174 pounds fitted and supplied which was absolutely fantastic so sometimes it does not pay to go with the insurance so i was very pleased to find out that that quote included the tinted green windscreen you do really want the tinted green to be fair helps keep out the glare help keep the glare off the uh, lights at night from other vehicles and uh, stops the uh, sun from destroying your interior so yeah you really want the tinted green so that came with the tinted green which was very good very happy with that i must say and uh, that included fitting it now that is an amazing price now this isn't paid promotion for norfolk windscreens but uh yeah i was really happy with that now obviously if you don't live in norfolk they probably ain't going to be your cheapest quote and i must say that i do actually live within a two mile radius of norfolk windscreens so that may have helped me get a bit of a cheap price but if you are in the norfolk area if you are certainly in the Norwich area then yeah I'd recommend checking them out because that was the cheapest quote I got and I'm really really happy with that that is fantastic isn't it really to be fair I mean the people from Autoglass that I spoke to on the phone were very friendly I must say but you know when they're charging you £1,100 to have something done that you can get for 174 elsewhere if you just look about I guess they're gonna be nice and friendly whilst they're bending you over aren't they yeah so if your insurance does cover the entire payment of the windscreen then obviously it's worth going through the insurance if however they will only cover a certain amount then you need to be checking yourself and getting quotes because you will find it cheaper elsewhere so if you don't learn anything from this video and you do go through autoglass do not tell them it is an import tell them it is an mpv if they know it is a bongo mpv they will charge you a lot less than if you tell them it is a bongo import why because they can really isn't it they have an excuse to charge more they will always charge more that's the way it is i'm afraid in the wicked world we will get bent over any chance they can bend us over 174 quid i'm well happy with that that is fantastic really isn't it that means bongo ben can get out and carry on living the dream people yep because 1100 pound was just totally out of my budget there's just no way i can't afford that kind of money for god's sake taking the mick and it obviously is a bit of a con really into the fact that they want a 1100 pound and yet you can get it for 174 looking about elsewhere so Cheers everyone, I should hopefully be back to filming the usual campsite review videos soon. Had a little bit of a break, I've been a bit busy I'm afraid, been a lot going on. And obviously it's winter, there's not a lot of campsites open. But yeah, like and subscribe to catch me on another adventure people.